Good evening, everyone. It's so great to see this amazing turnout. But first, I want to give thanks to Asian American Federation, to all the volunteers and partner organizations for not only showing up today, but showing up every single day. I represent a fairly diverse district. And whenever there's an incident, whether it's across the country or right in the very blocks that we live, we have to deal with the victims. Not only the people who have been hurt physically, have been hurt mentally, but their neighbors, their loved ones, the people who identify with them. Almost a dozen people come to my office a week and tell us that they're scared. We get seniors who walk and say, I can't go out and do Tai Chi because I don't want to be alone. We get kids who can't come up to us and say, I have to run home right after school because I'm scared I'm going to be bullied. This is the trauma that we're fighting. But there are people that look at this trauma as opportunity, that seizes on, on them like a prey and uses their narrative and uses their trauma to divide us, to say that no one's going to fight for us, they're never going to pay attention to us, that we will continue to live in the shadows. And that's what we have to fight. And that what fighting against Asian hate, fighting for Black Lives Matter, fighting for everyone here, that's how we fight that hate. Through education, through solidarity, but through action. One thing that has become so real to me this first year in office is how systemic the racism is. It's not just people who you might see on the subway, on the street. It's the systems that our city, our government has put in place so we feel other, so we don't feel included. We ingrain these biases through our textbooks, through our curriculum, to try to create a wall, to break down these bridges. But that's the work ahead of us. And that's the work that we all have to do. And so every year, every month, you'll hear elected officials talking about speeches of bringing us together. But what matters is the legislation that we're putting in place. What are we funding? Who are we working with? What organizations we're trying to uplift? And that's when we're gonna win, when we do it the right way. And so I'm here with representatives from our public advocate from the mayor's office to say, keep us accountable. Don't just expect us to show up on a beautiful evening to say some words, to agree with you. But what are you doing tomorrow? What are you voting on next week? What's gonna be in the budget? Are you gonna fund our schools? Are you gonna make sure our communities are safe? Are you gonna make sure that our CBOs are funded? That's the work that we need to do, and that's the work that we're fighting for. Thank you all.